Carl Schuf here, and today I'm going to give you a top-level overview of how I taught my students to create this split-screen pinning effect you see on so many award-winning sites. Step one was to create this basic layout that has this long scrolling section over here on the left, all right? And here on the right is the area that will be pinned and it has a number of colored elements stacked on top of each other. In step two, we add this scroll trigger code which handles pinning the content on the right as the content on the left is scrolling. As we get to the end of the scrolling content on the left, we'll unpin and the photos move off screen. In step three, we create this staggered animation that reveals each photo with a vertical motion and we hook up that animation to the scroll trigger. Now, as I scroll down, you'll see that we pin and then the green section comes in and then we have pink. And the way this works is that when the content on the left is vertically centered, then we see the full photo on the right. When we get to the last section, blue is going to come in, then we're going to unpin and it all moves off screen. Now this is all well and good when we're dealing with content that fits within 100 viewport height units and each section has this much space. However, if we go into our HTML and decide that maybe the uh, pink section here has to be a little bit longer, whoa, that's a few paragraphs. Watch what happens. Our content sort of overlaps, it's a big mess, and it's all blown up, all right? And furthermore, none of this is yet responsive, okay? It becomes a disaster. In step four, we take a more flexible approach. We create one scroll trigger that is going to pin the right section over here, but then I'm going to loop through all my detailed sections, create individual scroll triggers for each one of these content sections on the left that's going to dynamically target a photo on the right. And what we can do now is have very long content sections on the left, like pink here, that flow beautifully. And what's gonna happen is when blue passes a certain point, that's when the blue photo is going to come in. It'll stick there through all this long content and then unpin and move up. And this is a perfect way, again, to handle sections that go beyond 100 viewport height units. However, we're still not responsive. No one's going to want to see things scrunched down this much. In step five, we dive into the CSS and create this media query so that we can adjust our content from this two column layout down to this nice single column layout for mobile. However, since our scroll trigger is still in place, what happens is this content gets pinned while I scroll and it's kind of broken. So although we do have the CSS working to change things around nicely, we need to tell scroll trigger not to operate on small screens. But don't worry. In step six, we tap into gsap.matchmedia, which allows us to take all of our scroll trigger code here and only run it when we meet certain media query criteria. In this case, we'll have our nice two column setup with our pinning and scrolling in place for large screens. And when we shrink down to mobile, we'll get right down to this single column layout and everything works just fine, all right? And if we want to jump back to two column, no problemo. Scroll trigger reinitializes and everything works flawlessly. Now I don't expect you to understand all this in just four minutes, which is why my Scroll Trigger Express course is packed with videos going over all the scroll trigger basics. And if we get down here, you'll see I have my responsive split screen pinning chapter where we go over all of this in detail. The intro is a full 14 minutes. We build the staggered animation in another eight minutes. I give you 20 minutes of detailed overview of building the contents with various sizes. We then get into the responsive layout with CSS and we tie it all up in a final seven minutes using gsap.matchmedia. Now I'm guessing someone somewhere is probably selling a course with just this stuff in it for $49 somewhere. But with my Greensock course bundle, you get everything I've created for one low price, whether it's monthly, pro lifetime, or student. If you want to master GSAP and scroll trigger, check it out today.